Hi, this is Saprin from FEVO. And today in this article, I'd like to talk about open source FEA. So you probably have heard this name, open source, and you probably even try to use F open source FEA software because open source FEA software is really incredible. A lot of things you can do with it. Now, what's the difference with uh, commercial FEA? Well, uh, we all know how expensive is a commercial FEA package, right? Because it's used by big companies and it, it is used in order to accelerate the development process and the innovation of a lot of products. So that's why the cost is so huge. Now, what you're probably wondering is why on one side you have so expensive packages and on the other side you have open source FEA which is free to use. Well, because the philosophy is actually very different. Uh, people who build open source FEA uh, build, the, build the software using a, a mentality of community. Uh, it's like collecting all the things together in order to create one uh, thing that will benefit to everyone. And as it is developed by all the person together, then it's open source and everyone can use it. Now, uh, you can think about Wikipedia, for example. Wikipedia is an open source software. Everyone can contribute uh, with the knowledge by adding his own experience and uh, by editing the existing articles on Wikipedia. So now, um, if open source software is, uh, is free, why not everyone is using open source? That's a good question, actually, because, you know, um, it's not less powerful. You may be thinking that, oh, open source, you know, it's open source, so there are less fun functionalities than uh, other packages, but actually it's not true. You have, uh, you, you have as much capabilities and sometimes even more uh, than uh, commercial packages. Um, and you have also the advantage that open source FEA can run on uh, cloud servers. So you can use the power of thousands of cores to calculate something very quickly. So there is a real advantage in using open source. Now, what is the disadvantage? Well, disadvantage is that, um, you know, it's, it's open source. So which means that, you know, basically what you get is the source code and you have to be able to understand it uh, understand how to run this kind of code and compile it by yourself using uh, different ways uh, so the installation itself for example is not straightforward as it would be with a normal package that you can just you know install it with one installer Open source tend to have a lot of modules to be installed first. It tends to have a lot of um, things you have to do to actually get it running. And you have to use different software together. You, have, uh, you don't have the flexibility and the easiness of usage uh, you would have with a commercial package. So basically, those are maybe more customizable uh, and you can even extend it with your own algorithms, but it comes at a price. Uh, the price is the the price that you the time you take to actually understand how it works and to make it works correctly like you want. So um, this is why open source is not as straightforward as uh, as commercial FEA packages. But if you're able to understand how to run it and actually uh, develop such things and solution by yourself, you actually get a tremendous amount of uh, computation power in comparison to what you would be able if you only know uh, how to use the normal FEA uh, commercial packages. So uh, I have I tend to write this short article about uh, some of the things I understood about open source. This is just the beginning of a series of articles that I plan to write. Uh, so I just threw some ideas out as usual. And if you're uh, if you find it interesting, please let me know. Uh, I plan to continue and write more about this topic. And especially, I'd like to uh, explain you, for example, how to install 
uh, some open source packages like Code Aster, for example, which is a French package um, and very useful. So I'll do that in next weeks that are coming. So please let me know in the comments, for example, on the video or on the blog, uh, if you like this idea and I'll continue to write about it. Well, thank you very much for watching and for reading my articles. Uh, it was Cyprian for FEFO.